Hello, I'm your teacher, Randy League, and welcome to Goodwin English's short English lesson. Now we're going to take a look at the phrase, take it easy. First, take it easy is a very good and convenient phrase. It can be used in a few different ways. One way is in a sentence. For example, Randy, what are you going to do this weekend? Nothing really. I think I'm going to take it easy all weekend. Maybe I'll watch some TV or play some video games. Here, take it easy means to relax. You can also use this to tell someone to relax. For example, let's say that one of your friends is very angry. You can tell them to relax. Or you can also say, take it easy. Another common use is to say goodbye. So this can be used instead of see you later or bye bye. Like this. I'm going home, Randy. See you tomorrow. Take it easy. These three situations, it's okay to use take it easy. But some of my students often make a mistake using this phrase. Sometimes they will have a friend come over to their house and they want to tell the friend that it's okay to relax here. In this situation, some people would say, take it easy. But this is actually a little wrong. When someone comes over to your house and you want them to relax, you can often use the phrase, make yourself at home, or please make yourself at home. Okay, let's do some review. The phrase, take it easy, has a couple of different meanings. It can mean to relax, or it can be used to say goodbye. When someone comes to your house and you want them to relax, you can say, make yourself at home, or please make yourself at home. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned a lot. Don't forget to push the like button and subscribe to our channel. If you want to help us, please go to our Patreon page and become a supporter. My name is Randy League, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.